beautiful developers and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hi how are you my name is Elifteria and I'm a front and developer I'm taking over the challenge daily UI and I'm on day six of 100 today we are going to do a user profile I'm going to keep it like very simple um, it's going to be not so realistic so i have some things on my mind let's try to put them in action i'm using code pen as you can see and all the code will be in the description below i will leave the link for this pen right here but because i know that not all of you are using code pen i'm also going to leave in the description box um my github account so you can go and check it out there um, I'm using AngularJS, you don't have to do that, but I'm going to be using AngularJS with Angular Material as my framework and I already have this template that I'm using from day one. So the HTML is pretty simple, um, I have here today's theme which is day six, user profile, then the working area which all our code is going to be inside here and then the footer which is this part right here in the css i have the theme with some padding the working area which is all our code uh the profile image you will see this in a bit and the submit button again you will see that in a bit but that's it i basically have these two classes for the working area you don't need anything else but again if you do need something else go to my code pen and find all the code it will be available you can do it whatever you like okay let's start working the first thing that i want for my user profile is let's say a name or even better maybe a nickname okay so i'm going to have uh sorry for that just give me a second okay i'm going to have my md input container container okay and let's close that um i will need inside here a label okay and then the label is going to be nickname I also want this one to be required, but to do that we also need an input. And now inside the input I can have the required. Okay, and also I'm going to need an ng model. Let's have it as user dot nickname. And then I want this to be um, a little bit bigger. So here I'm going to use the class MD block to make it as like one line, something like this. I think that I prefer that. Okay, and now I'm going to copy this one right here and paste it below. I'm going to do the same thing, but for the email. So here I will use email, uh, oops, email and then the type is also going to be an email. Okay, cool, we got that. What else? Maybe I could have another MD input container and this time I'm going to have a job okay let's keep that as a job we don't this one to be required if you want you can feel it if you don't want just let it be um and then i'm going to do another thing that um i think it's the first time that we are going to be doing something like that at least if you're watching my videos which of course i would advise you to do uh, we are going to create a form a really simple form and here I want again a label 
Okay, my label um, is going to be a location. Okay, if you want, you can also add an ID so you can be specific with that one. Okay, and then another thing that we are going to be doing for the first time is having an MD autocomplete. Okay, now in the MD autocomplete, you can write a lot of things and you can also include them in the JavaScript part, but I'm not going to do so. Instead, I'm going to keep everything inside the HTML. So I'm going to do an MD items. And here, let's say that I want to iterate through item in search. And I'm going to have here the search text. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is to have again an MD item, note items text um, and this one is going to take the item dot display cool let me fix that one like this okay let's keep going with with okay the md mean length so you should write something and below that I'm going to have a placeholder for placeholder you can have whatever you like let's say that I want uh, eg dot westeros okay and what else do I need now I need the MD item template Okay, and you should also close that one. Um, the item. Why doesn't it like autofill it? I don't know. Anyway, now again, I should fix that one probably. Okay, let's keep it like that. Inside the MD item template, I will need. Uh, span okay close the span and inside the span I'm going to do I'm going to have another class and with a JavaScript function and it's going to be the MD highlight text equals search text and now the last thing that you probably need is to have the item display all right now you can close the template but you also need another thing in case the md autocomplete doesn't find anything so this time you will take the md node font no states matching where font and the md node font closing tag all right okay this actually should be close right here in the Westeros. Now we are correct. And after the MD found, you have the MD autocomplete and the closing tag for the form. And now I think that pretty much we are ready. One of the last things that we want is to have um, another MD input container. And let's say that we want uh, the birthday here. So I'm going to do it like birthday. Uh, now the input is going to be something different. Um, I'm going to do like a date picker. So you can delete the input and instead have like an MD date picker with an ng model user birthday. Maybe I will also have like a BR breaking line so we can go a little bit further down okay and now i'm going to do like a checkbox i think that i want also a checkbox so i'm going to have the md checkbox 
like that and inside here I'm going to add I agree with terms and services and now last but not least I'm going to copy the same thing that I used in my previous video for the button it's just a submit button and this time it says let's go the class again submit button is this one that I've already saw you and it just have a background color this background color is the same as I'm using right here for the body background now there is another thing here that I haven't used and it is a profile image. So let's go and write also the things that we need for the profile image. I'm going to start right here just below the working area and I'm going to use an MD input again. An MD input container. Cool. And the other thing that I want is to have an um, image. Okay, IMG and CRC. Okay. Oops. Now we are okay. Um, I also need the class profile um, image. Okay, um, I've already picked an image that I found online and let me just copy it. It's actually not an image, it's a GIF. Dun, dun, dun. We are waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, code pen. And here we have the lovely Cersei, or I'm not sure if it's lovely, but you know. We all know who she is. You can fill in uh, the name, the email, the job, the location, and the birthday. Everything seems to be working fine. And after you finish, you can just click let's go. And that was, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, that video. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It would be awesome. If you have any question, just don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And remember that you can find all the code either on my code pen or on GitHub. All the links will be available in the description box, so just go check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing day. Do some amazing coding stuff and see you really soon. Bye.